Taylor, real quick about the U.S. men's national team. Uh, we're not that far removed from the World Cup that just took place. Do you consider their run a success? It's a, it's a, it's a real good question. I'm not going to waste 35 minutes on it because we could talk about this in U.S. soccer, particularly in the men's side, for more than 30 minutes. We could do an entire show on it. Any time a nation gets out of their group, it's a success. Now, it's not for France, England, Brazil, Germany. I understand that. Mm -hmm. But for the United States to get out of their group, it is a success. However, you're using the word success the way I use it, the way Rich wants to. We're American. What does success mean? It means and it means doing something right, big, right. which is winning. Not scoring a couple of goals. And Not then. scoring a couple of goals and saying, hey, we tied right. and all that. But you got out of your group. That is the base, the foundation but I've been asked multiple times, what grade would you give the U.S. men's national team? And I'm stuck between a C-plus or a B. Because the real question has always been, okay, you get out of your group, but what do you do against Argentina, Brazil, France, Netherlands, the big countries mm -hmm. in the world? What do you do against them? Because that's the goal. If we're not doing, if that's not our goal, then quite honestly, what are we doing this for? So for me, it's a C-plus because eh, if Pulisic scores in the second minute, sure, Maybe a different game, but I watched the same game everybody else did, and the Dutch ran circles around us for more than 80 minutes of the game. So it is what it is. But the World Cup coming here in three years is going to be something I, I don't know what to expect. Yeah, so that was my next question. Like, with that, what are expectations in three years? Well, you're asking me about a tournament, and we all joke, but FIFA will do anything to— It's also going to look different, right? There's going to be 48 teams now, and— Bingo. Took the words right out of my mouth. I don't know what it looks like, yeah. and we don't even know that. FIFA just knows they're going to make more money from it, so they, they win. But 48 teams, I'm like, really? I mean, the United States, Canada, and Mexico don't even have to qualify. Right. They were good. They're not going to have to qualify anyways with 32 teams. But, guys, I don't, I don't even know what the format looks like. I, it, no one knows that yet, so— uh, I think it's got to be quarterfinals to be a success if you're hosting this damn thing, and, and if not better. And because you get your golden generation that everyone, including myself, has said, this is your golden generation. Well, guess what? They're in the prime of their careers. They're all playing at these unbelievable clubs where we've never seen the American. You're in your backyard. That's why the Copa America in 2024 is going to be the most important training for that team because they're going to be playing that tournament in mm -hmm. this country, preparing for the World Cup. But if, for me, it's quarterfinals, whether it's 32 or 48 teams. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.